Is there a better way to make ice cream? I don't know. Let's find out. Welcome to Crocs in the Kitchen. I'm Jessica. And I am Brian. Yes, this video has actually been a long time in the making. We got one of these devices for Christmas this yes. last year. Brian gave it to me. Yes, I did. And we've been sitting on this video for a while now because we were waiting around for summer to come along so people could enjoy a nice cold treat. And since summer has come around and people can enjoy a nice cold treat on a hot summer's day, we also figured that we could do a nice cream throwdown. Yes, it is time for a nice cream throwdown. As you know, from time to time, we do throwdowns involving different types of things and see how they compare to each other. But this one is a little bit different because we've only got two contenders, but let's find out who those two contenders are. Our first contestant is the Vitamix A2500 Ascent Series Smart Blender. This powerhouse of an appliance comes with a hefty price, but can pulverize just about anything. So hide your peeps and let's see what it can bring to the field. Our second contestant is the Yonana's Classic Original Healthy Dessert Fruit Soft Serve Maker. That is a mouthful, but this machine claims it can turn any frozen fruit into soft serve that is smooth like ice cream in just seconds. Let's see if that claim holds true in today's challenge. These two going head to head is sure to be an epic match, but let's actually see what's going into these appliances today. Jessica, down on the field, take it away. Thank you, Brian. We're going to need a lot of bananas. Once they were nice and ripe, they were cut into pieces and frozen in a single layer on parchment paper. The bananas must be frozen overnight, and then they can be used for ice cream or moved into storage bags for later. To make this a level playing field, we are only using one ingredient for both machines, bananas. All of these bananas went through the same quality check and were thawed for precisely seven minutes as suggested by the Yonana's official instruction book. Jessica, that sounds amazing, but I am getting word that there is a dog on the field. Can we please get the refs to remove the dog? Aw, but he's so cute. All right, in round number two, it is the production stage. This is where we actually get into the nitty gritty and make the nice cream. But up first, we have the Vitamix. The key with the Vitamix is using the tamper to alternate pushing down towards all four corners. This will keep those bananas moving. They are also blended on the highest speed for about a minute and 20 seconds, and they were ready to go. And of course, the judges had to check a sample right out of the machine to check for quality control. But let's get to the next competitor. And of course, that next contestant is the Yo Nanas. After letting the bananas thaw for exactly seven minutes, the machine was turned on and the bananas were plunged down the chute. Like magic, they came out as silky, soft serve, just as promised. But can it hold up to the Vitamix nice cream? You will have to wait and find out. And once again, the judges did sample from the bowl to make sure it was good. Once both batches of nice cream were done, they were placed into these fancy ice cream tubs and then were put straight into the freezer for an overnight chill.
The next day, two samples were scooped out of those fancy tubs into nice, perfect scoops. And then it was time for the final judging round. Brian and Jessica, take it away. Wait, you are Brian. No, I'm not. I'm announcer Brian. And we are back. Yes. It is great to see these two great contestants to uh, go head to head on the field like that. But now we have come to our scoring round. And Jessica, what do we have laid out for this battle today? Well, Peef, our wonderful assistant, has prepared us a clipboard full of different items for us to go through and judge. So we're gonna go through each of these items and we're gonna put this chart on the screen for everyone to see so they can follow along with which, you know, which ones we're choosing for which thing. So we may not agree on every point. We may not. We may not because we usually don't agree on a lot. That is true. But what, if we, if we don't agree, then it gets two checks and it's like a tie for that amount. Then at the very end, we'll try to figure out which one we feel is the overall winner of this super awesome Nice ice cream throwdown. Wow. That was me pretending to be. Okay, so what do we have for uh, our first thing that we are doing right now? Okay. Because we, so, we still have to taste these, right? Okay, so taste is the first category. Yes. So let's just take a bite of the each of the, the Vitamix one is in the pink here. So let's just take a bite. All right, this is Vitamix. It's very smooth, as to be expected, though. Mm -hmm. Cold, sweet, tastes like bananas. All right, now let's taste the Yonanas. I can already tell you, that is, it's definitely crumblier than, than that one. There's more ice crystal structure um, for this one than there is for the Vitamix, for some reason. Like, it's almost got kind of a crunchy texture to it. Not like super crunchy, but like a really, really fine kind of like sugary, crunchy texture. You're moving ahead to the texture category. I'm just saying. But I think for taste, we gotta give both of them a check mark. Mm-hmm, no. Bing! There's really no difference between the two. Okay, the next category is, is texture, texture, but it's texture when it was a soft serve. So, you know, as you so saw- right out of the, the machine. As you saw in the throwdown, we sampled it right out of the machine. So going on that texture, if you were making it to eat right then, which one do you feel has the better texture? I actually think by a narrow, narrow margin, it was the Yonanas. And why is that? I just think it had a slightly creamier texture, okay. like um, just like a slightly better. And I'm, I mean, I'm talking like a minuscule amount of difference between the two, but it just, it slightly edged it out. All right, so I'm gonna give you a check for the Yonanas. I'm gonna write Brian in that yeah, one. Yeah, that's true. My pick was the Vitamix. Yeah. Because I just feel like overall, it, because I was able to like, continue pulverizing them until I got to the right texture I wanted. Mm -hmm. I felt like overall, if you ate it straight out, like it was it was definitely smoother, like silkier for me. Mm -hmm. And there there weren't there weren't any like kind of more like banana chunks in there, I guess. Yeah. All right, so that's another tie basically because we we disagreed on that one. That's true. So this has been freezing overnight. So the next one is what? Which one do you think has a better texture now? Honestly, 
I think the Vitamix wins. Because it's uh, just, it's yeah. way smoother. This one has larger ice crystals. For me, the Vitamix wins hands down. It just has larger ice crystal formation. This one has smaller ice crystal formation. And if you don't know, whenever it comes to like regular ice cream, the smaller the crystal formations of, of the frozen dessert, the smoother the texture will be. Uh, that's why they do things like slow churning of things because it makes that process happen really, really slowly and, and form really, really small crystals or it's like they, they really, really churn it out. Uh, so this one definitely has, has the smoother cream. You can even tell like just in the light here. Like yeah. this one's darker than this one. This one's lighter. Well, and that's because this one has, has too, bigger, bigger can, ice crystals. You yeah. can tell that it was a little bit more difficult to scoop the other one, the Yonanas. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so as far as texture after it's been frozen, we are gonna go Vitamix. with the Vitamix. Yep, easily. So that gets a check mark for that category. Now my next category, I mean Peef's next category, is ease of use. There you go. <laughs> so which machine was easier to use? So for me, I mean, I have to say, I guess What's the Yonanas, the Yonanas is easier because you literally just throw the bananas in and plunge the thing down and then it's like, you, it just comes out. Yeah. Like the Vitamix, you, it, it took me a while to perfect the yeah, art got that, of, like, the art of making. Hit all those corners. The, you, you like, yeah, you have to hit all four corners with the tamper. It, it took me a while to get that art like it, like mastered and um but i would say that for ease of use the it's, check mark is going to go to the, the yonanas. yonanas yes you just made the pen go I did, away i did wow check ding okay now my the next category is control if you guys can imagine just close your eyes <laughs> i like to have control of things in my life not of Brian, of course. Calm down. All the time. They're going to comment and be like, poor Brian. It's okay. We're both stubborn. so We both just... have our flaws. No, I like control. Like, I don't like being out of control. I am, you know, a perfectionist and I like to have contr complete control over uh, ev like whatever I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So for me, that cat that's why I added in this category. I think that the Vitamix wins that category because... Hands down, in my opinion. I can, like I said earlier, I can make it to whatever consistency I want. If I look at it and it's not as blended as I want it to be, I can keep going. Yeah. What happens is, I am not sure with the Yonanas that, you know, you saw in the video, that was the very first time we ever used the Yonanas. We let it thaw for seven minutes, which it said seven to ten mm -hmm. minutes is let it thaw before we did it. I don't know if the texture turned out different on this one because I didn't let it thaw enough. If I didn't let it, if I let it thaw too much, which I don't think would be the case. I think not thaw enough is possible for us to end up with not as creamy of a texture as the um, the Vitamix one. But either way, like it's not like I could take the Yonanas one and put it back through the Yonanas machine really. Like, yeah. I don't think that would work out at all. Yeah, I don't that would think be, that'd be not a good thing. Difficult. Um, and so, at kind of what you get is what you get, unless you decide to get out the Vitamix and then what's the point? Like, yeah. you know, so I think for me having the control and then you also brought up a good point. Yeah, that uh, the, you, the control of the end product as far as like flavors are concerned. Yes, we only used bananas for these, but if I were making other flavors, it'd be more difficult to do it with the Yonanas. Like they say you can sprinkle stuff on it and like put it through and like, like mix up. Powder. But that's not gonna really mix everything together. Like you need, you'll have to like mix that afterwards. And even then like you don't get the full incorporation of certain flavors. Yeah. Uh, but in the Vitamix, I mean, I can make this whatever I wanted yeah, to. Like if I wanted to, if I, yeah, you got a little flock. Get away. Oh, get away from my ice cream. Uh, uh, but if I wanted to make this any other particular flavor, I just have to put those flavors into the Vitamix yeah. and just blitz it. Or, you know, you can make it and then put the stuff in and then quickly mix it together. Like, it's it was really easy to see how the Vitamix could uh, w was easily better than, than the Yonanas when it came to control of the end product. Yeah. Especially when it comes to making other All flavors. All right, so Vitamix gets, Vitamix gets, gets check control. Yes. That. So let's do a little check-in. So right now we've got four checks in the Vitamix column and three in the Yonanas column. This is a tight race. Mm. Okay. 
Now, the next one is the usefulness of the appliance itself. Yeah. So, I mean, this one's pretty obvious. It's the Vitamix. It's the Vitamix. The Vitamix is you can just do insane. So many things in a Vitamix. It's like ridiculous. It's just. I mean, it's one of the best things that I, I, I struggled for a long time because they're so expensive. I really struggled with making that commitment, knowing if I would use it or not. And like, hands down, like I have zero regrets as to buying yeah. that, that. Now, the Yonanas, that's all it does is make nice cream. So it's Out like- of different fruits and stuff, yeah. Yeah, so it's like, it's still gonna be one of those appliances that you're gonna have. It's taking up that footprint in your kitchen. Mm -hmm and or on, like in your cabinets or whatever and you you will only use it for this one purpose so yes. for usefulness definitely vitamix hands down easily now the next one is cost of appliance cost of appliance so i actually have some notes here oh get to those notes just a little bit of notes um so the vitamix um the one that we have is a certified reconditioned a2500 um, so it's a scent series Vitamix. So it's the A2500. It is reconditioned. I bought it on sale for $279.95, yep. which was a deal. Yep. If you try to buy that one now on Amazon, which I will put links to to what I can like in the on our Amazon page, which is always linked in the description below and in the blog post. Um, but if you try to buy it now on Amazon, it's going to run you like $400 for the reconditioned one. Um, so you can look out and keep out for sale. Like sales do come up from time to time. I know mm -hmm. people all are always saying like, oh, they've got Vitamixes on sale at Costco and like different stuff like that too. So $279.95 is what I paid. $400 is what they normally go for when they're not on sale. Mm -hmm. um, now the Yonanas, you paid $32 because there was like an $8 coupon or something. Um, it comes out to $40 to $50 now if you try to buy it. Unfortunately, it's actually sold out right now on Amazon. I went to check today to see how much it costs now, and it seems like there's like some weird Yonana shortage out there. I think it's even sold out on their website. Yeah. So if you wanna check, I'll put a link to the one that we actually bought in the blog post. But yeah, it's sold out right now. So it's 40 to $50 normally. 32 is what we got it for on a super, super sale. There is an elite version of it as well that runs about twice as much, it seems like. I think it was like 90 to $100. And again, the, maybe the elite version does a better job of like the texture. I don't know. Um, we obviously have a lot more playing around to do with the Yonanas. But sure. yes, that is my price breakdown. So obviously the Yonanas wins the cost category by a landslide because it's a lot cheaper. Just a lot cheaper. All right. Now for the final thing though, the final category, and that is what happens after you make all of your yes. nice cream and stuff like that? You gotta clean up. Yes. So which one was easier to clean? All right, well, let's show them a little, a few little clips of how, it, how the cleaning went. So for the Vitamix, it is basically you just fill it halfway with warm water, put a drop of soap in, like dish, regular dish soap in, and then you run it on the highest setting, like 10, for about a minute and it cleans the blade, it cleans the, the entire like thing. You can run it a little longer than a minute if it's really, if you're making like nut butter and it's like really stuck in there. Um, there are times when I've had to like redo it, but for nice cream, 60 seconds is plenty. It'll clean everything right up. Then you just pour the water into your sink, rinse it out and let it air dry. Now, you can also use that soapy water. It's like a soapy little smoothie. You can use that soapy water if you're trying to clean like other dishes that are in your sink or other stuff like that, or maybe just clean out your sink, plug it up, pour that in and like use it to help clean your sink out a little bit. Anyway, um, so that's how the Vitamix goes. Now, as far as the Yonanas go, when I thought, when I saw that contraption, I was like, this is gonna be a pain to clean. And it really isn't because there's five pieces that are dishwasher safe. You just twist off like the little like area with a chute and the blades and all that. You twist it off and you can take everything apart and, and all five of the pieces are able to be just put into a dishwasher, which Brian knows 
I love a thing that you can just put in the dishwasher. Um, also, yes. when you are cleaning the Yonanas and you open it up, oh yeah, you you get a, a good amount of stuff on the inside. And so like, you know, if you're making stuff for later, you just make all the stuff that goes into the bowl for later. Yeah. And then you pop the sucker open, just eat what's inside of there. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, don't make yourself a bowl of it because you will, there's a whole bowl worth in the inside. And a lot of, I did notice in the reviews on Amazon, there's a lot of complaints about that because people were like, we waste a whole banana worth in the inside, but it's like, you can still get it out. Yeah. It's just, it is kind of annoying, you know, because it does come out of the Vitamix really easily. Like. Yes. So, okay. So all this being said about the cleaning, I had to really think hard about this one. Um, for me, which I do most of the cleaning, uh, I would say the Vitamix is easier because right now we made that yesterday, right now sitting here, the, the five pieces are in the dishwasher and I still have to run the dishwasher and then I'm gonna have to like make sure they all got dry and put it back together. Whereas the Vitamix is already sitting there clean and ready to go. So yeah, ultimately it was that's- done last night and we were good. Yeah, so the, ultimately that's why I ended up picking the Vitamix for that category. Yep, and so this means the winner by a two count is the Vitamix. Yes, the Vitamix came out on top it uh, was the grand champion of appliances. But, I mean, let's face it, that was kind of to be expected because it is an expensive uh, appliance that you can get. It does a ton of different things and it makes really, really good nice cream as well with a little bit of effort, you know, just making yeah. the plunger do its thing. But I think the real thing that you want to you wanna take away from this is that if you don't have a Vitamix, and you don't have a Yonanas, and you can't afford a Vitamix or a Blendtec or something like that, but you can afford a Yonanas, and you really, really want some good ice cream, get the Yonanas. Yeah. Because the price comparison makes it worth it if that's what you are really looking for. And you don't have to just use it for bananas, you can use it for any kind of frozen uh, uh, fruits out there. I don't know, it probably works with some vegetables too. I haven't, who knows, who knows? Nobody's tried, I bet. Uh, <laughs> so you just like, it's one of these things where, yes, it, it, it does one thing, but it does one thing pretty well. Yeah. While the Vitamix does, you know, a hundred things really yeah. well. And, and yeah, the thing, so the thing is, like, like he said, if you want, so I, I used, before we got the Vitamix, I used to make nice cream or try to make it in my regular blender. And it was always a disaster. Oh, it was horrible. Because you had to add so much liquid that it just became like a milkshake. You couldn't get that really creamy. I... I thought it was good when I made it, but when I had it out of that Vitamix and it like really pulverized those bananas, mm -hmm. it turns into something on a whole new level for me. And so I would say like, you know, if you can't, if you're using a blender right now and you're just not happy with your ice cream and you don't want to invest in a Vitamix, definitely check out the Yonanas. It's definitely you know, a, a worthy component in this, this whole fight. Yes. Um, even though the Vitamix wins, for, you know, for us, it definitely, the Yonanas is something that I am already excited. I want to make another video of us just like seeing what we can make with the Yonanas. Can we get the texture better? Do we need to let the bananas thaw more? I don't know. Maybe someday we purchase the elite Yonanas and do a elite versus classic Yonanas throwdown. Um, you know, maybe we try different flavors, all that kind of stuff more of a um, in-depth look because I really, for some reason in my head, I wanted this to be the first time I used the Yonanas was on the video, just so I could get like that fresh, like how like how easy is it to actually use and that kind of stuff. Um, and so we haven't been ha able to play around with it, but now that it's like, now, now it's all fair game, so yep. we can play around with it all we want. But I think that was a fun little throwdown. I think so as well. So let me get to the close of this program. Uh, this program. Please <laughs> subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already uh, and click that bell notification that is right next to it. You will get notified whenever we post a new video just like this one. Also, find us on social media, especially Facebook and Instagram. You can message us on there uh, and ask us questions and do all that kind of stuff. We really, really do love interacting with you guys on there. Uh, it just it brings a smile to our face uh, every time that we get a lovely message from one of you guys. Uh, 
Also, like and share the video if you haven't done so. Click that thumbs up or click thumbs down. I don't really care. Uh, it, you know, if you hate the video, then that's on you. But go ahead and click the <laughs> thumbs down then. You know, it's like, it's, you know, it's, it's your, it's, you know, you can do that. It's, it's your opinion. Uh, but if you want to give the, the video a share, please share it out and, uh, and help us grow the channel even more. Uh, by getting our, our message of health and whole food plant-based living out to everyone else out there. But I think that's all I got. That's all I got. We will see you next time on Crocs in the Kitchen. Bye. Bye. Oh, fine. You take the Vitamix then. <laughs>